Well, more news is breaking about the scandal surrounding the University of Oklahoma chapter of a fraternity. We've got new developments, new accusations, and a lot of reaction coming in. Yeah, that's right. News 8's Ken Pierce is live in our newsroom with what a Connecticut chapter of Sigma Alpha Epsilon has to say about what's going on. Good morning, Ken. Good morning, Allie and Jim. We found four SAE chapters in Connecticut. One of them has released a statement about what the fraternity is really all about, and it's not about racist chanting. The University of New Haven Sigma Alpha Epsilon chapter reminds us the frat brothers are supposed to be what they call true gentlemen. That is someone, quote, who speaks with frankness, but always with sincerity and sympathy, whose deed follows his word, who thinks of the rights and feelings of others rather than his own, and who appears well in any company, a man with whom honor is sacred and virtue safe. The honor and virtue of the SAE brothers are under question because of the video of Oklahoma University SAE members shouting a racist chant during a bus ride. They use the N-word and seem to condone lynching African Americans. Oklahoma University expelled two of those students and closed down the frat house as of midnight last night. Meanwhile, the last African American member of that fraternity is now speaking out condemning the students on that video. I don't consider them my brothers. I don't think that they were ever deserving of the letters. There's an additional viral video involving the fraternity's house mother using the N-word over and over again. She says she was singing along to rap lyrics. She's now out of a job. So is the house cook. He is an African-American man named Howard Dixon. There's an online fundraiser right now to help him out since it's racist kids who have now cost him his job. Now, I mentioned there were four SAE chapters in Connecticut. The one at UNH is speaking out. The one at the University of Hartford is not saying anything yet. The chapter at Yale is currently suspended because of inappropriate comments about a female student. And the one at UConn is suspended for hazing. Coming up in just a few minutes, Good Morning America. We'll have much more about that fraternity scandal. For now, live in the newsroom, I'm Kent Pierce. Chris, over to you.